do we improve our mindset game in trading? I think you've got to dictate and realize that there's an entire lifestyle around this. Um, that toxicity example I gave you, if that's a regular occurrence, you're going to just be fighting losing battles. I've often noticed um, my worst losing days followed uh, day, uh, moments where uh, I was short on sleep, I was unsettled, um, uh, you know, there'd been an argument or something of that nature. Um, and keeping a diary, giving yourself a score of how your quality of sleep, I actually, funny enough, I have a quality of sleep, I have a Zio reader that tells me how well I've slept, to have an idea of what state am I in today? Because you don't tend to rationally, you always think, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And there's various bands of okay. There's okay, hardly okay, to you know, supreme. Um, so understanding your quality of rest, understanding your, your state of mind, your diet, and all of those aspects. So to be a long-term successful lifestyle trader, you need to inherently be um, fairly healthy in my view because of that biological element in that comes through and you need to be emotionally fairly well balanced um, and this is the amazing thing about trading it's the most natural feedback mechanism for becoming a higher evolved being this is a personal development program you've signed up for i say this and many people who come on my programs you think you're investing in your trading you've come to be a better person a higher evolved better person. This is why I think everyone should get a trade, become a trader, because of this feedback. It's the most honest feedback mechanism. It will consistently knock you down if you consistently keep approaching it with the same um, mentality. So it's a ruthless master. And in fact, um, the, the coach I work with uh, says, you can go through life and work around a couple of bad character traits, um, but in trading, your weaknesses stalk you and you will be forced to confront the obstacle, and the obstacle is the way. So confronting it, developing around it, um, that is the real personal development, and that is like rewiring a little bit who you are. And the amazing time I had um, with this is that we aren't even who we think we are. In other words, through our life and our childhood, we have all these templates that got us certain responses. If we sulk, we get given a toy or a food and that. And we carry adult versions of these templates that we refer to. It's almost like I sort of think of the sort of this dial we have in our chest. You know, when I get called by a salesperson and it's an inappropriate time, I switch into sort of director mode. Who are you? What do you want? I don't have time for this and go. And I have a template that I refer to where I'm dry, I'm blunt, and I move people on quickly. Um, and we all have templates for dealing for different situations. You are not the inherited series of templates you have picked up through your life experience. So actually breathing in and recognizing um, that is incredibly powerful. So this whole journey is fascinating. It gets into Jung, it gets into archetypes. For example, we have the warrior inside us, we have the sage. And then you have the orphan, which is often the victim or the person that needs uh, sympathy. We often over-criticize, um, so we, we harsh self-critic. So what you've got to learn to do is generally, if I were to give a snapshot of info, and I think you really do need to investigate this more as a trader who's looking to personal to develop, but we are over-hard on ourselves. Um, so you have to self-love. You're going to make mistakes in your trading account. You have to recognize them. You have to recognize you're often in a diminished state in doing it. You've got to prevent that, circumvent that, and recognize the archetypes you're coming from. Try being sage and try be the carer. We are usually too much critic and warrior. You can't control the outcome of the market. This is a fascinating concept, uh, and I know I'm giving a long answer here, but this, there's so many gems that will fall out of this. The people that are very successful in business, we get a lot of alpha males coming into trading. They think you can brute force something. I'm smart. I can work hard. I've always got there in the end. If I've decided I'm going to become a triathlete, I've become a pretty decent triathlete. If I've decided I'm going to work my way up the corporate ladder um, by virtue of focus, showing up, being taught. In a market, you don't control the outcome. You can in many other areas. You can't control the outcome. All you can control is your response to those potential outcomes. That requires you to be far more soft and it requires the feminine energy maybe to be developed as well. In other words, you get paid when the market gives you the opportunities for you to exploit. You can't go to the tree and shake the tree and expect it to rain dollars on you because today's the day you need money. Um, you have to recognize you could do more damage to yourself on that particular day in, if it's not the right conditions and you have to be prepared to wait for when it, it's gonna uh, give it to you. Kind of like a farmer in rain. 
You know, you can't bring the rain. Um, and when you recognize that, that's the beginning of understanding you can only control your outcome. So we have a methodology that does exactly that, focuses on your planned response before it even happens. At that level, we get out of the stop. At that level, we get out of the target. And if it runs that level, we are triggered in. And we can go play golf after that because we have no further control over that outcome once we trigger it in. Um, and that's very liberating. It takes some of the tension out. Wow.